Artillery fire in an attempt to gain full control. The Russian occupiers do not stop their assault on Severodonetsk in an attempt to blockade the Ukrainian armed forces. The city is practically destroyed and there are no undamaged buildings. This is the third time the enemy has changed the date of the so-called capture of Severodonetsk. Now it should be June 22nd instead of the 10th. The Ukrainian military is fighting back the enemy. The day before they eliminated an officer of the Russian armed forces and seriously wounded another one. It is difficult for them, but the Ukrainian military clearly understands that they are not threatened by encirclement. They clearly hold their positions and understand how events are developing. It's war. There is a strong enemy fighting against us. There is a real horde there. They are coming out of every nook and cranny. They have a lot of equipment even if it is old Soviet equipment. But our military is sure that there will be no encirclement. Evacuation in the Luhansk region continues. Another 23 residents were evacuated from Lysychansk. Russian troops attack Ukrainian positions with artillery and mortars in the Kharkiv region in order to prevent the Ukrainian armed forces from reaching the border with Russia. According to the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, Russian occupiers are preparing for an attack on Slovyansk. They are using aircraft and helicopters. The enemy launched airstrikes using Su-25 aircraft near Marinka and Krasnohorivka, Ka-52 helicopter near Novobakhmutivka and Mi-8 helicopter near Oleksandropil. In the Novopavlivka direction, the enemy reinforced its grouping of troops. An artillery war is currently underway in Donbass, and unfortunately Ukraine does not yet have the ability to sufficiently confront the enemy, the Ukrainian defense intelligence informs. Everything now depends on what the West gives us. Ukraine has one artillery piece, to 10 to 15 Russian artillery pieces. Our Western partners have given us about 10% of what they have. We have almost used up all of our artillery ammunition and are now using 155 caliber NATO standard shells. Vadim Skribitsky, representative of the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. The Ukrainian armed forces eliminated a military base with Wagner Group mercenaries in the Luhansk region. According to preliminary information, there could have been up to 300 members. Only one survived. Russia's total losses since the beginning of the full-scale invasion amounted to almost 32,000 soldiers. Most of them, according to The Guardian, were in the area of Lysychansk and Severodonetsk. This is where the fiercest battles are now underway. The return of the Ukrainian territories is not far off. Ivan Fedorov, mayor of Melitopol, is confident. For the last two weeks, the front line has been moved away from Zaporizhia for about 5-7 kilometers. Therefore, there will be the occupation of the city of Melitopol and other temporary occupied territories. This is the agenda of our defenders for the near future. Ivan Fedorov mayor of Melitopol. The day before another exchange of prisoners between Ukraine and Russia took place. Five were returned, four soldiers were given back. The head of the Shevchenko territorial community of the Mykolaiv region, Oleg Polopenko, is among those released. The head of the community, Vilipenko, had been a hostage for two months or so. We negotiated for him for a very long time. That's why I couldn't talk about it until now. But he is already here and we greet him. Everything will be all right. During the day the enemy shot the Dnipropetrovsk region using Grad rocket launchers. There were no casualties. Heavy artillery was fired about 10 times in the border areas of the Sumy and Chernihy regions. One person was killed. The Russian occupiers continue to remove the debris in Mariupol. According to the mayor Vadim Boychenko, there are 50 to 100 dead under each of the buildings. Their bodies are being taken to a dump area together with the concrete. Reported by Roman Smoller, Alexander Below, UATV News.